When you first start using Linux, one question you might have is, what is root? Well, here I have a Linux machine, so I'm logged in, and I'm going to take a little look at my directory. I can see I've got some files here. It's kind of nice, but there's nothing that says root. If I go down to the slash directory, I can take a look around, and I suddenly see this root word showing up all over the place. Now, it's interesting because this slash directory is the root of the file system. This root right here is the root user. This is the root group. And right here you have the root user's home directory. So right there. So four different things that are all called root. So the root of the file system if you look at your your uh, file system table right here, you can see this right here, this device is mounted at the root of the file system. So this is the root of the file system. If you ever want to get to the root of the file system, you can type in cd slash. It'll take you there. If you want to use directories, sometimes use absolute path names. And whenever you use an absolute path name, you start it with a path, so or with a slash. So if I wanted to go to my home directory, I have CD, type in PWD, it is home Joseph. If I want to get to that one, I can type in slash CD slash home slash Joseph. And that will take me to the home directory of my user, no matter where I am on the system. But I have to start with that leading slash. Now, if I was in the slash directory and I type in CD without that home, or without the slash, the home Joseph, it'll get me into the directory. But if I was in the home directory and I type in CD home Joseph, it will not get me there because there is no slash home slash home slash Joseph directory. So that is the root of the file system. Next is the user, the user root. If I were to cat out and that were displays the contents of the ETC PASSWD file system, I can see all of these users listed. At the very top, there is a user called root root its name is root and its home directory is slash root okay well that's nice uh, we all see that its user id number is zero its group id number is zero and there you go so this is the root user all right so if i look at the cut out the group ETC group file. I can see similar thing near the top. You have right here, count the group. You can see there is a root group. All right, that's nice. If I were to type in ID root, it will tell me that the root user with a UID of zero is default group root and it's members of the root group. So it's its default group is root and it's also members of the groups including root. Okay, so that's nice. If I want to go into the root home directory, I'm not root, but if I want to go into this home directory, cd slash root, I could do that and then it'll say permission denied. If I want to actually get in there, I need to be logged in as root. So I could do a, a sudo su dash and then put my super secret password in there. And then I will be somewhere and I can go to cd slash root and I can get in the directory and see things here. Now, this will get me into the root directory. If I have a PWD, I am in the root directory. And the root directory is 
a directory inside of the root of the file system. So there's the slash is the root of the file system. The root word directory is the root user's home directory. I can also type cd tilde to take you to your home directory, which in this case just happens to be the root directory for the root user. Now, if that isn't confusing enough, well, I guess they could have made it more confusing. They just didn't. All right. So here we go. So cd slash is the root of the file system. So I do that. cd slash. I can go cd slash root, and I'm in the root user's home directory. And then if I type in id root, you can see the root user which is UID zero, the root group, which is GID zero. And you can see that the root user is a member of the root group. And then if you look at all the files in the root of the file system directory, you can see that many of the files are owned by the root user. So lots of these things are owned by the root user, including the root user's home directory, which is root. All right. Hopefully that clarifies some things if it doesn't confuse you too much and make it a little better figuring out what is root and what does it actually mean.